Brady giving the fan who helped recover his stolen Super Bowl jerseys a very special thank you. The I-Team first broke the story of the teenager from the state of Washington who helped connect the dots that led the FBI to the jerseys and the suspected thief. And as WBZ chief investigative reporter Cheryl Fiendaka shows us, he just got the ultimate surprise. Here we go. A beautiful signed Tom Brady football. So what does it say? It says, Dylan, uh, thanks for the tip with his autograph right there. Dylan Wagner is still pinching himself. It still really doesn't feel real. As the I-Team first exclusively reported in April, the 19-year-old Patriots fan helped the FBI crack the case of Tom Brady's stolen Super Bowl jerseys. This is how he did it. Last year, Dylan, who's a sports memorabilia collector, sold a jersey to Martin Maurizio Ortega. Ortega later sent pictures of his collection to Dylan. Among the photos, Tom Brady's Super Bowl 49 jersey. At that time, no one knew it was stolen. It wasn't until QB12's Super Bowl 51 jersey went missing that he said his Super Bowl 49 jersey also got swiped. Dylan turned the information over to a friend, Boston ATF agent Christopher Aroni, who gave it to the FBI. Federal agents later recovered both stolen jerseys at Ortega's Mexico home. It's crazy that I helped recover a piece of memorabilia for, you know, the greatest quarterback of all time. Dylan even got a call from Bob Kraft. Dylan, this is Robert Kraft from the New England Patriots. Just want to thank you for the great role you played in helping us get Tommy's jerseys back. Kraft invited Dylan to be a guest of the Patriots at their first game. For a teenage fan, it's a dream come true. I'm just looking forward to be able to meet Brady on the field before the game. And Dylan tells us this will be his first Patriots game, but it won't be his last. Radio station Mix 1041 also invited him to a Pats game. As for the football, well, he plans to keep it in a glass case displayed in his home, and he considers the gift priceless. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.